Okay, really quick guide to the chords, guitar chords for uh, Trouble by Taylor Swift. To play along with the original song, you need a capo on fret four. So now, if I'm using the capo, I'll treat this fret, fret one, fret two, fret three, etc. But you could just as easily do it, um, in fact, I will play without the capo, but to play along with the original, you would, uh, we do it on fret four. Um, so, you need a few chords. We're going to play, I'll play the simple version, or we'll try the simple version, which means we will stick to strings four, three, two, and one. Okay, so ignoring strings six and five, which are nearest your head. So when you're strumming, this way you're concentrating. So first chord, chord of D. Finger number one, string three, fret two. Finger number two, string one, fret two. Finger number three, string two, fret three. There's your first chord, chord of D. Next chord, nice and easy, chord of A. Strings four, three, and two, all in fret two. Chord of A. B minor, not the easiest. Finger number one, string one, fret two. Finger number two, string two, fret three. Finger number three, string three, fret four. So you've got a diagonal line. That's a B minor, or a version of it. Um, for G, when we get to it, simplest way is just quite simply to put one finger on string one, fret three. And as long as you're not striking these two strings, then that works as a chord of G. Okay, and that's, um, later on you need an E minor chord, and that's quite simply um, string five, actually we're not doing that, string, just string four fret, string five fret two, and string four fret two is the E minor, but I probably won't get to that bit, but you can work that out for yourself if you get that far. Um, so when it starts, it's eight beats on each chord, so it's chord of D, then A, five, six, seven, then B minor, so it's basically eight beats on each of those four chords, it's D, three, four, five, six, seven, then A, five, six, seven, eight, then B minor, then G, and that's all the way through the, um, the verse section. Do, 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 do. Few mistakes ago, I was in your sights, left me all alone, you found me, you found me, do, 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 do. Obviously normally I'd be strumming down there, and it would sound much fuller, but just to show you on the, um, on the guitar part. And then the chorus, which is the last bit I'll do here, um, there was just a quicker change. So it's quite, so it's B minor. Two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, then D, then A, then B minor, sorry. B minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, then D, then A, then it's again. Okay, so that pattern says B minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, then double speed, D, then A, then B minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, D, then A, then B minor. Um, those are those sections. For the rest of it, I'm sure you can work out. Um, and there are no other chords, but listen to the song and look at the music because the music shows you when to change chord um, because the chord is just printed above the lyric. So if you listen and watch, you can't go wrong. Just make sure that your keyboard player is playing the same chords and changing chords at the same time as your bass and for your guitar. And just whilst I'm here, quickly for the bass player, imagine this is a bass guitar. We don't have strings one and two. Um, on the guitar, so now we've got four strings on a bass. This is now string four, three, two, and one. Okay, ignore these two bottom strings for now. So strings four, three, two, and one. You just need to know where your notes are. The note D, um, it's written on the sheet, but this is just to sort of clarify it. D, 
string 3, fret 5. A is string 4, fret 5. Um, B, for the B minor chord, you can either do string 4, fret 7, or string 3, fret 2. It's the same note. I'll probably use string 3, fret 2. And the note G is string 4, fret 3. And the easiest way for this one is just to play one note per beat and change chord at the same time as the, um, as the guitar. So in the verse section, it's eight on each. So we D, uh, D, two, three, four, five, six, then A, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then B, then G, then does it all again. So D, do, 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 then A, do, 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 then B, do, 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 then G, do, 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 when it gets to the chorus, um, you have that sort of quicker time change, so it's going to be B for 4, G for 4, then A for 4, so all of those for 4, but then we're going to go D, then A, then, and it starts. So it's the chorus section, B for 4, G for 4, A for 4, D for 2, A for 2. Okay, say that again. So it's B for 4, G for 4, A for 4, D for 2, A for 2, then it starts again. So it's... Um, Etc. Okay, so look at the music. As long as you know where your notes are, E when you need it, for E minor if you get that far, E, you can just use open, fourth string, nearest your head. Okay, and that's the bass part and guitar.